Okay, in this section, we're going to talk about how to use a NAP viewer to remotely monitoring a PV site using BDM microinverters. Here is uh, what you're going to see if you open a, or using a web browser to open up NAPViewer.com. Uh, I'm using a Mac computer, but if you're using Microsoft PC, uh, and if you open up IE or using the Google Chrome, or using an uh, iPad or Android device, or iPhone, basically you're going to see a similar window because uh, this web page was designed using a cross-platform technology so basically it can be used on any devices virtually any devices here, uh, if you look at uh, here, for, if you come to this website for the first time uh, first you will need to register a user account here you can click on register and let's just uh, try uh, one of them and after you click on that one you click on email uh, verification code uh, okay in this case because this user has been registered before so you'll see this said uh, has been registered before you can I would just uh, change another one so for example if you go to two and this is a new user and says okay a verification, a verification code has been mailed to this account uh, so you can now go to your email uh, register to your email uh, account and uh, check on this email and you need to uh, get a verification code you put the verification code here and then you can finish the registration you can come up with a password and sometimes you will need to be careful in checking your email because some uh, this is a, a machine generated email uh, for some email systems they will put it in a, like a junk mail folder you will need to check your junk mail folder to make sure you can get this email after with this verification code then you can pretty much feel, uh, finish all these uh, other field you can finish the registration these uh, fields are kind of standard now we can uh, go back and uh, let's just use a uh, email address we already registered okay. and for the first time you don't see any uh, PV plant uh, on your email account on your account uh, so for the first time you can click on the add site you can add a new PV site and you can choose a country uh, it can be like let's try to choose US and California and na name you can put in and give a name to your PV plan you can just say okay let's just say test and for the installer email uh, you put in your e uh, installer's email address and then when your installer is uh, if he log into his account he will automatically uh, see this site so the, the web server basically link this, uh, this PV plant to the email addresses uh, uh, with the installer. Here I, we just use the test, uh, the, uh, the test email address. And now the gateway serial number, this is a critical field because uh, the, the web server uses this gateway serial number to link the correct gateway to your email address so this one you need to double check on the gateway serial number it can be found on the gateway touch screen if you click on setting and there's a tab called uh, version and uh, serial number here I will just use one uh, in our lab it's not connecting to uh, any uh, micro inverters but at least you can see how it is uh, uh, linked If you have multiple uh, gateways on your site, you can add you can add more of them, I mean like two or three. But since you here we don't we don't have that many, we only have one. You can just we just put one of them there. And then the city, um, you can put in the city's name, uh, for example, San Diego. Street, uh, you don't have to put anything here. But if you know your street name, you can put the street address here. And now this is a longitude and latitude. This is a, a GPS location. You can use any uh, tools to get on that one. Sometimes uh, the gateway, uh, the, you will see some uh, numbers here. 
that is uh, uh, tracked by the uh, web server using the IP address. It is not always accurate, but at least can give you some uh, guessing on what it will be. And now the um, now the uh, now this is the time zone for California time zone. I think should be. Uh, Minus, uh, maybe minus seven. And then these fields are, are kind of optional. You see what is the temperature and what is the um, mm, uh, size of your power plant in kilowatt hours. And this one's a unit, how many uh, US dollars per kilowatt hour, maybe 0.14 something. And then the uh, manufacturer for your solar module. Again, these are fields are optional and including uh, you can put a photo here for your uh, power plant. Now you can create this one. So create success. And you go back here, you will see here. And uh, here you see um, this is a, uh, uh, this is a, uh, uh, this is one we have uh, on this side. We have the three modules. And sometimes, uh, if you log in, you will see uh, you will see like twenty empty boxes, and you only see three of them. And in that case, you can change the number of units here. Go to the layout and click on edit this zone. It's kind of slow. Not work. And then you see you see one, two, three, and if you have four or five. But here we don't have that many module. You're gonna see um, you have more empty boxes here, four and five. But here because we don't have the uh, the inverter serial number for it, so it's just uh, just empty. And also in the layout, you, let's just remove them. And on the on the lay, uh, and also you can if you have multiple zones, say for example you have a zone for the main house and zone for the garage, you can add add new zones here, and also you can say for example you can add a new place that's like the main house, and this is garage. And also you can. Uh, you can manage your layout. For example, you can move these uh, blocks. Uh, depend on how do you put the PV panels, you can move them around. And then, if you come here, you see you have this layout, and also the the zones. You can you can change the main. It didn't save, so we don't have it there. Now you can save. Now see you have a zone for the main house and you can add another zone for the garage. And for, for each of them, because now we don't have any inverter connect to it, so it's all empty. Uh, but let's go to another uh, one. We can just uh, try to register with a meaningful one so that we can see some working inverters. Let's just log out. We can close this. Let's see if I'm This is a demo site. Let's just sign in. Here we have two demo sites. Uh, they are by Mike, they are by Mark. And if you click on one of them, see these are the, uh, if it's a real PV site, this is what you're gonna see. Here in this side, you have 32 modules. And you can see because uh, I think at this time, it's almost, uh, uh, this is one o'clock, yeah, almost two o'clock. You will see uh, different, uh, uh, you see different colors, and on this one, see this is like 172 watt. This is the current output power, and uh, by this time, it's like half of day already. It's generated one point, almost 1.2 kilowatt hour for today, and this number is a total kilowatt hours generated for today, and these are the total kilowatt hours or mag here in this case megawatt hours a thousand kilowatt hours 
generated for the whole lifetime for this site. And these are just uh, some like uh, uh, environment uh, saving parameters, like how many CO2 saved. And if you click on the energy output, this gives you a curve for the uh, today's power output for every minute. You have, a, you have a curve for that one and also give you for the past week or well, like this is so every for every hour it give you a, uh, like uh, as, as again this is a watt for how many watts uh, this is a power for for each hour what is a watt uh, average uh, output power for that hour and also give you like a month by month statistics and year statistics and also the uh, detailed report and here if you go to the location you're gonna see uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, this location is in San Diego. So and also give you the um, uh, the weather forecast, and that's that's why uh, the the uh, the GPS location, the longitude and latitude, that's critical. They will give you this information. And if you go to this the other one, you just uh, you can either double click or you can just highlight it and click on the open viewer. Oh, uh, this is another one. Obviously, this one has a Better, maybe better location so that you see the higher output power at this moment and also you can see the uh, output power for the whole plant and also for the week and for each month and uh, again the history you can see for the past uh, uh, like for any given date or from like a given um, uh, like for, Gary, for like one for the past one week uh, for the detailed information for every minute uh, but again this uh, for for like um, uh, installer or for the end user and all for distributor they all have different levels of uh, uh, mm -hmm. authorization to see uh, different levels of uh, information uh, some info for the um, like for authorized user they can see very very detailed information but not for all the users depends on the authorization Um, that's pretty much for the uh, for the inverter. If you want to change the layout and anything, you can again just go to the layout. Um, so that's uh, if something happens, you also see some alert information. But here, there's not, not there's no alert. But in case uh, there's something wrong, either with the inverter or with the panel, you will see some alert information uh, here. Okay, that's pretty much for the uh, for the registration uh, for the using the uh, map viewer. Again, this is a very kind of standard, uh, like very similar like using uh, uh, any web browsing or any web page. And the registration process is also uh, very standard. 